because uh, off of that, I can with punish with normals into green hand and get mix-ups off. So of this it. is losers right now. Losers finals right here. Illiterate Sal Pacino. So it's either going to be you again versus Illiterate or you versus Sal Pacino. Well, I, I'm always rooting for Sal Pacino. After, always. Always. My uh, local favorite right now. <laughs> uh, him and his reactions. The reactions and the reads. And we're seeing a lot of reads <laughs> this round. Sal Pacino really relentless right now. Kind of just forcing Illiterate to the corner. Conversely... It's been illiterate who's forced everyone else yes, into the corner exactly, thus far. Exactly. So it's it's kind of refreshing to see. Uh, gets that he can confirm into Ultra. It's not going to kill, I don't think. It's not going to kill, but it's certainly going to do a lot of mental damage. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Sabuccino with three bars. He can still bring this back. He's got an Ultra, mm -hmm. um, but didn't quite pull it out. Yeah. Uh, was that a whiff punish or sort of? Well, hold on to your beater for the next round. Wow. Oh, wow. Didn't get quite. A, yeah, didn't get the follow-up, though. He got the DP. Illiterate. Just keeping that. Known for his corner pressure, actually. Always. And the mix-up. Oh, gets, wow. Gets reversal. He was at the space where he really wanted... Sal Pacino to think he was going to bait out that DP. Sal Pacino did it anyways, and Illiterate did press a button. Like, so you can that's tell... That's thing that happens sometimes. Yeah, Illiterate backed off and went back in, and Sal Pacino did not care that he backed off. Not at all. He was... He, he basically said, I see you backing off, but I don't believe you. And these jump-ins from Sal Pacino. Oh, my goodness. Mid-range, raw EX slash, making the mix-ups happen. This is poor situation for Sal Pacino. Good DP from Illiterate. I would have really liked if Sal Pacino was ready for that. Um... You know, sometimes you are, and sometimes you're yeah. not. It well, I mean, we, we're talking about how Sal Pacino is always looking for stuff like always that. Always looking to for make, stuff. To make that comeback, because that's kind of a natural follow-up for Yang players. It, uh, and it does have a ton of startup that you can react to. Is that a punish? Looks like a punish. Oh, it was a good air-to-air, -air, but not really the right button for it. Goes low with the sweep. Sal Pacino getting the reversal there. Not having any meter to speak of right now, though. He's and, got and the life lead. This is very similar to what we saw in the first round of the first game. Oh, and he finally baits a DP. I hope that he keeps incorporating just a few uh, moments where he's blocking so that he can bait out these DPs. It's going to make him so much stronger against Illiterate. Yeah, and I, I think Illiterate definitely needs to be conditioned to not do things like that. Yeah, yeah. Very smart player in general. How did he get that DP? Wow. We, oh, is Salpicino clapping? He's clapping like a madman. Oh, no, that hyped. was Pavo. That was Pavo. <laughs> he's taunting him. Wow. Pavo not afraid to use he's, he's, other tactics. He's really trying to get into his head. Because I don't think Illiterate respects Salpicino's play at all. Really? I don't think he respects Salpicino's play at all. That's interesting. Uh, so Salpicino gets that DP and Illiterate starts clapping. Wow. <laughs> Salpicino oh, no. still in there. Still in there. Very much so not afraid. I hope he doesn't kill himself in this because this is a huge lead. This is an absolutely massive lead. Oh! And Illiterate has all the meter in the world to make this comeback. This is a very scary situation. He has so much meter to continue his pressure game. It's not necessarily for the super, but all of these slash mix-ups can just keep going as long as he has bar. And Illiterate, definitely no slash to reactions as well. He couldn't low profile the Jaguar kick. Illiterate, or Sal Pacino at that time. Maybe he's taunting him back. I heard some more clapping. <laughs> Look the at the pop -offs look right at Pavo's now. Face. Pavo is looking, looking strangely <laughs> oh, happy. Oh, he's switching. I think he's going to go to Yun. I don't really know if oh. no, he's going to Balrog. Actually, his original, his name. original character, his original. Look at his face. He's. I don't know what. I don't even. I can't even tell what he's thinking right now. Look at him. <laughs> I, I kind of like this pick. He has seen other players do very well with Boxer. We've been saying it over and over. Pablo's kind of got the crazy eye right now. He does right now. And, and this is the demon matchup, like we've been saying throughout the tournament. Sal Pacino has a lot of trouble against Boxer. He clutched it out against MMG Ghostal. But uh, I wonder how this is going to look different because Illiterate has not been practicing Boxer. He doesn't actively train with this character. Conversely, I feel like it's like riding a bike. Sure. I Totally possible. It, 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 it seems to be uh, player-specific in, in history, though. So we'll see if he can just, like you said, just get right back on that bike or if he's going to be a little over-aggressive. Yeah. It looks like he's he's really trying to make something happen here. Um, 
he's got the life lead, but I just don't feel like... Full see crumple. what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Full crumple! That was amazing! And then he dashes up right into the Ultra 2. Not a ton of damage, but it was probably max damage for that situation. He didn't have a ton of meter to work with. Baits out another headbutt! Oh, wow. Oh, Sal just, hit just not even caring. Getting those jump ins. Getting those hit confirms. Sal Pacino is at match point now. Is this pick going to work out for Illiterate? Because right now, it's not looking like the same game plan that we've seen from Ghostal and Crackbean in the, in the previous weeks. Oh, are we going to see more of a zoning game? We managed to just get that hit confirm. Was that off of a uh, EX armor there? Oh, and he gets a throw. Right, See if he wants to up. keep him in the corner or if he... Wow! <laughs> Just wow. doing it right now. Getting in his face with that headbutt. And that's that headbutt where you walk forward, maintain your charge, and then go up forward punches so that you can it can look like you're going in for a throw. Illiterate not willing to give this up right now. Oh, I, I love the reads. The reads. Oh, no, the too, oh. Many reads, too many reads. Too many reads. Fortunately for Sal, Illiterate did not have any sort of super or ultra I think to follow that up with. He's got a lot of meter, though. A lot of meter to work with. It's going to be really hard to jump in on an Illiterate once he has charge. He should be really working the life lead, making sure that Illiterate has to lose charge to approach. Oh, but no, no no Fs given right it's, now. It's the full hit <laughs> confirm. Illiterate finds his way out, but he has a ton of meter to work with. He's got a ton of meter to work with, but not a lot of life. 61 seconds on the clock. Sal's just going to rush in. Oh. Gets out of there. Gets the throw. Huge lead from Sal Pacino. Gets Incredible an instant overhead. Incredible spacing by Sal. The but Illiterate gets there. The instant overhead's good, but it has to kill him, or else you're negative on the ground and you can get trip guarded. Oh. And good. he's not going to fall for the overhead. Good punish on the overhead. Sal Pacino qualifies to fight me. Let's do this. Let's go.